Okay, so today we're gonna focus on our shoulders and our balance and our legs. And to begin with, let's take any props that you like. So maybe a cushion or a bolster. Take something possibly to support the back of the neck. Um, maybe a blanket behind your head. I'm gonna suggest that whatever you have under your legs, that you use them to support the knees kind of dropping open. We're going to let the pelvis open a little bit more here. And then arranging your supports on the ground so that when you come to lay down, everything just feels kind of nicely snuggled in. And you can feel your whole body just starting to settle towards the earth. Nice. And then letting the arms begin to just fall open. Letting the palms face the sky. And if you need to adjust anything at all, or if you really actually prefer today to extend the legs, feel free to do that. And there's no agenda here. For the first minute, let's just let the breath be natural. We're not going to try to manipulate it in any way. We're not going to try to um, make the breath feel like it's constrained in any way. So just allowing ourselves to notice what the breath feels like today. Feel if the breath feels big or small. And then know that there's no judgment about whether or not your breath is big or small today. It's just simply noticing Whether the breath is big or small or any other shape, just let yourself say hi to it. Kind of from within, just be fully friendly with this breath, whatever form it's taking, however it's manifesting in its appearance to your noticing today. Just, hey. Know that your breath is your prana, is the flow of life within you, and that there is a magic there, that this breath just simply dances gently in and out of the body. So letting yourself trust a little, this friend of yours, this constant companion in your breath. For the rest of the minute, we'll just enjoy the sweet silence and just notice the breath, extending our friendliness to the breath. Let the eyes fall closed, let the shoulders relax towards the earth. Let yourself relax into this friendliness. And noticing that when the breath is natural, when it's allowed to flow on its own, that you can enjoy just focusing your attention on the breath. Just enjoy noticing the breath without judgment. So we'll practice our nine mindful breaths. And it's kind of common to think that once you have to be mindful, that you need to kind of become tensed up or kind of work really hard to make yourself feel like, oh, now I'm being mindful. And instead of that, no, that's the same thing as what you have been doing so far. Just let the breath be natural. Let the breath go in and out of your body. And as you notice, the first three breaths that flow in and out of your body, we're just going to 
Let any physical tension ride out on your out breath. So letting your breath flow naturally into your body and as you exhale, any kind of physical tension <sighs> riding out on your breath. Feel free to even let the breath go out of the mouth. Let the lips relax. Take another breath like that. So just let that feeling that you're feeling possibly kind of like a beautiful sense of starting to ease. Let that permeate. And then whenever you're ready to bring your awareness to your next three breaths, just notice if there's any other tension within you. Maybe emotional tension. Whatever it is, again, notice your next in-breath. Let it flow in. Let it help you carry out whatever it is that you don't want to clench around in your body now. Let it ride out on your out-breath. And then two more breaths like that. Or even the belly muscles relax. Beautiful. And then whenever again you feel ready to bring your mindful, gentle attention to your breath. I'm not even needing to label the next three breaths as being anything at it's okay to just notice something and notice that it's something that you like to let go of. Let it remain unlabeled. And then as you breathe out, just let it go. There's no need to analyze everything. And then take another breath in. And exhaling, letting it go. And take one more breath in like And as you exhale, completely letting it go. And then we're just simply going to rest here. No need to manipulate anything. No need to push your effort. Just let yourself rest in the ooey gooeyness after your mindful breath practice. This is a wonderful practice to do anytime, even before bed, especially if the mind tends to be busy. And instead of nine breaths, you can do any number of breaths, maybe 18 or 27 or however many you would like. Then let's just bring the right arm gently up. We're going to let the right arm rest across the body. Nice. And then let's hook the left arm over and just let the left arm weigh onto the right arm. So we're slowly opening up behind the right shoulder blade. Great, continuing to breathe into this. Take about half a minute, just simply letting gravity help us to open up into the back of the shoulders. And notice if there's any tightness, any resistance, any sense of kind of bunching up again. And let's just ease off a little bit, make it a little easier. Let the breath feel a little easier. And then we'll hang out there for neck neutral. Notice if you simply stay here as you realize that you really don't need to force anything, the shoulder simply starts to release all by itself. Nice. 
beautiful. And then let something soften and let the right arm release next to your body again, back against the earth. And we'll take a little pause here, just noticing, allowing the right shoulder to really neurologically receive that information of how it feels and how it knows that it's possible to have that release. And when you're ready, we're just gonna simply pick the left arm up, slide the left arm across the body. Right arm, again, is gonna hook just onto the left arm. And we're just going to let the left arm drape across with gravity, helping to carry the arm down. Relax your left shoulder, relax your top of the left shoulder. And we'll just breathe into this. Breathing into your left shoulder blade, the back of your neck, and just relax. Noticing if there's any form of efforting here in your hands and your hands or your wrists. And let's see if we can just let them relax now, let them go. So just letting them know that they don't even have to work just chill in. Take five more breaths in together. Own time again, relaxing the arms back against the earth, and we'll take a few moments just to integrate that sensation of having release into the left shoulder blade. Great, and from here, let's just sweep the arms behind us. We're going to interlace our fingers. And then we'll turn the palms away from us, just gently pressing the palms towards the wall behind you. And then as you do that, let's relax the shoulders again so that the shoulders are not tensing here. We're even going to kind of walk the backs of the shoulders down a little more so that the shoulder blades start to gather more towards your hips. And then with everything in place, maybe you're feeling a bit of elongation in your neck right now. And without having to reach the maximum within the first breath, let's just take maybe another five breaths here. And with each breath, just slowly start to press the palms out a little bit. And just what it's like when we don't just stretch to the max right away. And then a little bit more with each breath. Three more breaths here, just slowly starting to feel that extension, even through the wrist down to the elbow along the inner arm. And two more beautiful breaths here, slowly pressing the inner palms away. One more breath here. Beautiful. And then let's relax the arms. Just let them fall behind you. Relax the shoulders. Relax everything. Great. And from here, we're going to slide the arms back next to your body. I'm going to try a little something here. And let's see if you like it. If not, you're going to sit up to do it instead. We're going to try to roll onto the right side, and you're going to take your right hand. So when we usually do our um, Gomukasana arms, that's when we take the back of the palm to face out, and we walk the hand up the spine. So see if you want to do that line on your side, and then as you walk the hand up, when you're ready, you're going to slowly try to lay back towards the center of the mat. And then to relax against the mat with your hand down towards the mat behind you. I'm going to sit up just to show you what it's looking like behind the back right now. So the palm is just turned away. 
and behind you. And then we're just walking it up the back and laying back on it. Great. <laughs> Just take a moment there, breathe here, and then the left arm is going to come up and we can just relax it behind us. Take a few more breaths there. And if you find that this one is not what you would like to do, feel free to do anything else in this position. Great. Still letting the breaths be really belly full. And then we're going to slowly turn again away so that we can release the arm and lay back against the earth. Nice. And then when you're ready, we're going to turn the left palm away from us and again slide the hand behind you. So the back of the left hand is towards the middle of the spine, just walking up somewhere. Um, high enough for you to feel that little bit of a stretch. And then we're gonna try to lay over this again. So it is a deep stretch. See if it feels all right for you. If you do it seated and use your strap. So we'll take again five more breaths here, just with each breath letting the left shoulder relax towards the earth. Letting the left shoulder just soften to whatever degree it wants the weight of the body just relax under the hands. So you're also stretching open the muscles in your hands. We'll take two more breaths here. Again, if you want to, the right arm can go overhead. Beautiful. And we're going to turn away again and just slowly slide your arm out. And come back to lay down onto the mat. We're having a very easy and chill start. So take your arms behind you again. Left hand holds the right wrist. We're just going to lean towards the left side now. So you're in your banana shape or your crescent. And walking your feet to the left, walking your hands a little more to the left. We're going to breathe into the right side body and relax the right shoulder down. Relax the chin, relax the back of the neck, and we'll just breathe here. And over the next five breaths, with every inhalation, see if you can fill the side body with breath, especially the side of the hip. And then as you exhale, see if you can let the side of the hip just let go a little, just let it happen. Just four more breaths, letting the breaths fill the belly. Noticing again any part of you tensing to do this and just gently letting those parts relax again. Nice. And then we'll slowly let go, coming back to the center. Letting the earth relax and hold us again. Feeling grounded through the back body again here. Very nice. And then when you're ready, let's take the uh, left wrist in the right hand. And then slowly, again, just take the arms to the right a little more. Tuck your shoulder blades under. And let's walk the feet to the right. Nice. And the left side of the body is going to want to lift up. So... If we can, we're going to try to evenly let the hips still rest back against the earth. Just to whatever degree feels good for you, we're going to take five more breaths. Imagine yourself sipping in this breath all the way from the baby finger, your little finger in the left hand, all the way down to your little toe in your left foot. So breathing in, feeling that line of breath all the way along the side of your body and breathing out, really letting it go. And taking the next four breaths at your own pace. So these very gentle stretches would be quite nice for you to do, um, especially just as a practice for you maybe before you go to bed or any time, any other kind of 
physical activity or um, movement might feel like too much. So let's say if you're not feeling well or if you're really tired and you want to restore, even doing this before you go into something more strenuous, so it's very restorative. And then one more breath. Okay, let everything go. And then let's come back again to center and just let everything just flop against the earth. I'm gonna hang out here for five more breaths. It's not in any rush, just really letting ourselves relax into being supportive. And then when you're ready, just bend the knees. We'll extend the hips a little more towards the heels. Let's catch the shins into our hands. And just slowly draw the knees towards the shoulders. And as you do this, the lower back lengthens. We're going to let the shoulders soften. Let our eyes soften. Let's take a few more breaths here. Maybe you can feel a little lengthening even along the inner legs. Great, then let's flex the feet, come into happy baby, either holding your ankles or your outer feet. Nice, and then just relaxing against the earth, the back of the head is feeling supported, the shoulders are just dropping back and down, it doesn't matter if they reach the earth or not. And then let's take another five belly full breaths, just beautiful breaths, rounding the belly naturally, letting it just be whatever shape it is. And then as we exhale, just really enjoying that feeling of resting into the out breath. Nice, and then we're going to take a twist on our backs. We're going to take the right ankle against the left thigh. So it's um, above your knee here. Just keeping both the legs bent at about 90 degrees. We'll keep the legs glued together, and then let's drop the legs all the way to your left. So for those of you who have done it before, and again, for those that have done this, we're just going to take ourselves from reclined pigeon to our side for this stretch. Left hand, let's have it gently press, not against your knee, but against your right thigh. Slowly press away. Right arm, if you feel like it, you're going to let it walk up along the mat to wherever you feel an opening between the right hip and the right shoulder. Great. We'll breathe into the side body and even bring out awareness to the right sit bone. And if possible, we're going to lengthen the right sit bone away from us towards the wall that is opposite us. Nice, let's breathe into this together. So let the left hand that's pressing against the right thigh still just be gently pressing. We don't have to exert too much into the wrist. Beautiful. Let's take five more full breaths in and out. Beautiful, and then let's slowly bring the right arm back and we'll let the legs untangle and come back to the center. Then let's take the left ankle over the right thigh and bending both the knees, keep the legs together. We're going to drop the legs over to the right side. Great. 
and then right hand just slowly pressing away the left thigh. Nice. Left sit bone extended to the wall that is away from you. And then right arm, we're going to lay it against the earth. And again, if you want to, let it kind of slowly walk and wriggle to whatever angle you like today. To sense more of a lengthening and opening, breathing through the opening of the ribs, through the opening of the side body, and the opening of the left. Nice. And so as we breathe in, filling from the left baby finger all the way down to the outer left hip. And then as we exhale, letting everything soften just somewhat. Nice. We really don't have any expectations here. As long as we kind of do our own interpretation of this shape, the body is going to feel so much better. Every time I say the body, I really also mean the mind and everything else because it's all connected. So take three more breaths like that. Like this, and then we're going to slowly bring the left arm back. Bring ourselves back to center, bring your knees together, interlace the hands over the shins, and let's just hug everything in. We'll keep the back of the neck relaxed, we'll just keep the upper body really relaxed. And let's take five more breaths here, just lower back, relaxing against the earth. Awesome. And then when you're ready, we're going to transition to come to our downward dog. So take your time, come to your side, press up with your hands. And then when you're ready, come into downward dog and we'll meet there. So we'll bring the hands under the shoulders and the hips over the knees. And from there, tuck the toes, inhale, bring the hips all the way up. And then exhale, just start drawing the hips up and back. Great, bending one knee, then the other. We're just gonna slowly twist side to side. There's some of us that find that downward dog is um, too much of an overhang for you. Feel free instead to come to a half standing forward bend. So continuing to twist in your downward dog. Those of you who want to do the alternative, just pressing your hands against your shins and then bending your knees and rocking side to side. Great, we'll take a few more breaths here. Then from here, we're going to come forward into plank. Roll your shoulders back, draw your heels back. We'll keep the hips feeling kind of buoyant. And let's lengthen the tailbone away and lengthen the sternum away from the tailbone. So if you can feel that today, crown of the head gently lengthens and tailbone pulls away from the crown of the head. Yeah, roll your shoulders back, draw the heart out. Nice. Let's just take two more breaths here. Rock a little side to side so that instead of becoming rigid, we stay useful. Nice. And then let's bend the knees, bend the elbows, lower towards the earth. Roll your shoulders back and inhale, roll the heart up. Nice. And then exhale, rocking to the left side, twisting. Inhale back to center, exhale to the right. And just side to side like this for a little while more. Again, just lengthening, feeling that opening along the side of the hips. Great. And then from here, tuck your toes, come back into downward dog. 
Inhale to draw up, exhale to press the hips away. Great, then we're going to bring the right leg up, come into three, like a downward dog, bend the right knee, open up the right hip. Relax your shoulders here. Great, and then let's bring the right foot forward between your hands. Nice, we're gonna relax our shoulders here. Let's come into a twist here. So left hand onto the earth, right hand to your right hip, and we're just going to turn to the right. Great, and then let's extend the right arm up, relax our shoulders, and just over the next five breaths. Little by little, again, just turning across the vertebrae, across the front of the chest, just slowly opening up the chest towards the sky. Nice, and then let's take the back of the right hand against the lower back. Then we'll turn to face forward. We'll bring the left foot in a little bit more here. And then walk your left hand forward. Let's come into a warrior pose. So warrior three, but with the hand behind you, roll your shoulders back. And then if it feels okay, you're gonna micro bend your right knee a little. And then we're going to stack both the hands on top of each other, squeezing the shoulder blades towards each other, extending the left leg back. Nice. Draw the right hip gently away, draw the heart forward, left heel connected to the heart. Great. And then both hands touching the earth again, we're going to step back into downward dog. Let's continue to twist in our downward dog. So bend one knee and the other. Just looking through the arm to the other side. And when you're ready, let's bring the left leg up, coming into a three-legged downward dog on this side. Bend the left knee, and as much as you can, roll open the left hip. Looking through the left arm. And then let's bring the left foot forward between the hands. <laughs> we'll roll the shoulders back, draw the heels back. Nice. Right hand onto the earth, left hand onto your left hip. Let's twist and look towards the left side. Relax your shoulders, draw the shoulder blades away. And then maybe we'll add the left arm, we'll extend the left fingertips to the air, to the sky. And over the next five breaths, we're going to just twist little by little across the mid-back. So aiming to shine the heart a little more towards the sky. And the back of the left hand against the left hip, just gently looking forward. Great. And then we're going to walk the right foot forward and right hand still onto the earth. Extend your right leg up and away into a warrior three variation. Just a little two step back. Great. And then extending the right heel away from the heart. So if you're going to stay here, and then if you want to play your balance a little bit more, we're going to stack the right hand on top of the left hand. Great. Draw the right heel away from the center of the heart. Keep the back of the neck nice and long. Take a few more breaths here. We're in this together. So we started with something really, really, really chill. Now we're just going to balance a little bit. Great. And then hands back towards the earth. Toes back towards the earth. And we're going to draw the hips back. And again, we're just rocking side to side. I'm going to come forward through a quick little plank, roll the shoulders back, inhale here, and then exhaling, knees to the earth, bending elbows to the ribs, lowering the heart. Roll your shoulders back, draw the heart up, and again, twisting side to side.
straight and then completing that, draw the hips back, come back to a downward dog. We're going to walk the feet towards the hands, sweep the fingertips along the earth or against your shins, lengthen the heart up, and then exhaling we're going to fold towards the legs. So feel free to micro bend your knees, hands against the backs of the legs, slowly just drawing yourself forward. And then inhaling, we'll lengthen the heart halfway again. And exhale, folding back in. Let's do it one more time. So inhale, lengthen the heart forward halfway. And exhale, fold. Then we're going to bend the knees and bring ourselves into chair pose. So pressing down through the feet. Inhale, we're going to bring the arms to lengthen up, fingertips extended. And letting the sit bones kind of drop away. Beautiful. So you might notice that the tailbone always seems connected to the sternum, the crown of the head. So let's see if we can create that length from the top all the way to the very, very base of the spine. Just length through the both ends. Great. Two more breaths there. We're going to twist here. Left arm outside the right leg. And then right arm to the side. And breathing into this, let yourself sit back, lift the heart, and turn the heart towards the sky. Beautiful. Exhale, release forward. And then we'll come back into chair on the in-breath, pressing down through the feet, lengthening the arms up, rolling the shoulders back. Tailbone is going to lengthen down. And then exhaling, right arm outside the left leg. And left arm lengthening up. Let's take a few breaths here. Great, and then exhale, release, folding all the way forward and step the feet back. We'll come back into downward dog. Nice. And then from here, come back into three-legged downward dog, extend the right leg, then bend the right knee, opening up the right hip. We'll bring the right foot forward between the hands. Nice. Let's step the right foot all the way to the outer edge of your mat. Nice. And then we'll let the right knee open out to the side, draw the right hip back. And then Whatever feels best for you, you're going to walk your hands forward more, or maybe lower onto the forearms. So whatever option feels better for you, you can even rest the left knee against the earth. So choose what feels right here for the next five breaths. Great, and then we're going to walk the hands back under the shoulders. Let's kick the right leg back into three-legged downward dog. Extend it, bring all the way up. Great, bend the right knee again, open up the right hip. And then let's bring the right foot forward between the hands. Nice, we're going to roll the shoulders back. Let's ground the left heel. Yeah, and then let's interlace the hands behind us, roll the shoulders back, and then come into warrior one with arms lengthening back. Nice. Lunging into the right knee, drawing the right hip back, facing the front of both the hips forward evenly. Keep it like this, and then if it feels okay, we're going to start straightening the front leg a little more, and then we'll fold over the right leg. So if having the arms interlaced here feels like um, it makes it really hard to balance, you're going to take your hands onto your belt, 
and then we'll hold the belt instead and pull forward. Just taking a few more breaths there. Great, and then let's bend into the front knee, release the arms. We'll take a twist again. So turn the left foot away from the ground, feet on your toes again, and let's come into a twist. Right hand is going to turn, the back of the hand is going to walk up the spine. Nice, roll your shoulders back and just twist. We'll take a couple more breaths here. And then exhale, we're going to come back, step both your feet together. Inhale, we'll draw the heart forward and exhale, we'll fold. Then press the feet into the mat and inhale, we'll bring our arms all the way up. And exhale, just relax the arms next to you. So we'll be doing a downward dog that is going to come into what is it called again? I think Rockstar. Anyway, I'll show you quickly so that instead of um, surprising your downward dog, you know what I'm talking about. So you'll be on your mat and in your downward dog, and you're gonna bring your leg up as always, bend your knees and open. Then we're gonna start turning and dropping the right foot down, left hand is on the ground, and then we're gonna extend the arms. And then you come back to, to downward dog. And back to standing. Nice. So we try it together. Ready? Let's come into downward dog. <laughs> now I want you to have new experiences. Then we're gonna extend the right leg, bend the right knee, and then just turn open the hip. And then from there, you're just gonna let yourself kind of turn the left foot so that the toes are gonna face the wall opposite you. And then right arm is going to come up. Press your feet down, draw the heart up. It's great, you're doing a great job. Keep pushing the hips gently towards the sky. Extend the tailbone to the wall behind you and open up the chest. Nice. Wow, you're doing amazing, both of you. Yes, and then hands back towards the earth. Relax your shoulders, bend your knees, draw your hips up and back. Nice, and then come forward through to a quick little plank. Relax the knees down, roll the heart up. Nice, gently look to your left, come back to the center, and then to your right. Awesome, <laughs> see? <laughs> I didn't have to call the ambulance. That would have been hard, because um, I would have had to grab my phone which is on Zoom right now. And then we're gonna come back to downward dog. Mark doesn't look like he likes to hear you much right now. Not back to downward dog, but that's okay. I live with any kind of um, whatever people think about me. It's not important. Okay, left foot is going to extend. Bend your left knee, open your left hip, and then bring the left foot forward between your hands. Yes, even though your feelings are important. And then let's ground the back heel, interlace your hands behind you. Let's come into this one first. Yeah, roll your shoulders back, draw your knuckles back. Nice, lengthen through that front knee, press down through your back heel. Beautiful. And then we're going to start straightening the left leg and letting ourselves fold over the left leg. And again, if we want to strut, we can use a strut. Whatever works best for you here. A few more breaths here. And then we're gonna bend the front knee, right hand towards the earth, left hand walking up the spine, and we'll twist. Take a few more breaths here. <laughs> and then both hands back towards the earth. We're gonna step back into downward dog. So get ready for part two on this side of drawing a, coming into a wild thing. So draw your heels down. I think that's what it's called, outer hips back. Take a big breath in, exhale completely in your downward dog still. <sighs> nice, let go of all expectations. You're just trying something new. Okay, and then 
Extend the left leg, bend the left knee. Start turning. And then have your toes facing forward. And we'll draw the left arm up and away. Nice. If you're halfway, that's more than enough. So just keep working on it. We're going to open up as much as we can across the shoulders. Nice. Breathing into this, drawing our hips up, lengthening the tailbone away, relaxing the left arm back. Awesome. And then we're going to turn to face forward again. Roll your shoulders back, draw your heels back, lengthen the heart forward. Survive! And then, and then knees onto the earth. We're going to come all the way down again. Inhale, roll the heart up. This again, exhale, look over your left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, over the right. A few more times like this, side to side. Awesome. And then come to lay forward, draw your feet in. If it's useful to have a belt, feel free to use your belt and let it help you to kind of, <laughs> I'm not having very good success at this moment, um, but you're holding onto your ankles. Yeah. So we're going to hold onto the ankles, either just holding on or using the belt to help us connect. Nice. Okay, roll your shoulders back. You can relax the forehead. If you like, you can bring yourself up, rolling your shoulders back. It's up to you. Take a few more breaths like that. Nice, one more breath. Oh, beautiful. And then exhale, come to rest. Just laying on one cheek, palms are facing up. And just let the breath go. Nice, and just let everything percolate through the body, let everything just kind of flow. It's very natural right now for the breath to feel like there's been a lot of um, compression and a lot of opening. So let that be. It's kind of nice. We're kind of pumping deliberately all of this prana through the body. And then if it's your right cheek that's on the earth, you're going to take your right arm with the palm facing down. You're going to walk your right arm just to shoulder length or shoulder height. So lying on the right cheek, slowly starting to turn the knees to bend away from the right arm. For those of you where this feels okay, you might bring one knee up or even both your knees up. And we'll breathe into the right shoulder. So because I've had surgeries, I usually only bring one knee up for this one. Check out what works for you. Nice, and then slowly releasing back to center. Belly against the mat, forehead against the mat. Come onto the other side, so maybe onto the left cheek. Left arm is going to be at um, shoulder height. Press the left palm down. Right arm gently against the earth. And then we'll turn the body kind of towards the side. All of these things. And then we'll bend both the knees and maybe bring the right knee up. Maybe bring both your knees up. And then we'll twist into that arm. Oh, sorry if you lost the video. It's like, um, okay. Sorry if you lost video. Suddenly, somebody was calling, even though do not disturb is on. Okay, we'll take a few more breaths into this. So it doesn't matter whatever happened with wild thing that you were trying last time. I've been doing these classes for a while. I've never managed to keep my hair off my face. It doesn't matter. We're trying. We'll keep trying. I just broke a hair clip. My hair felt awesome. 
So two more breaths here. Great. And then exhale, slowly release, come back to facing forward. Yeah, against your mat, and then draw back into child's pose. Knees apart, big toes together. Nothing else to have to do, we're just going to hang out in child's pose for a little bit more. Great, and then from here, you're going to walk your hands back towards yourself, and then let's come into Shavasana. So make sure that your Shavasana is um, nice and complete, so that Agatha still likes me. <laughs> We're gonna take the cushions to wherever you feel like they're the most supportive for you. It can be very simple, just have um, something even supporting the backs of the knees, Always nice to maybe feel like the neck is supported. Rolling the blanket a little bit so you have kind of extra bit of curve under the neck. Then we'll extend the legs, come to the line back down. And get a comfy shimmying as you need. Extending the legs and just relaxing into your shabbat. Very natural right now to feel like a lot is still pulsating. So without needing to kind of um, control it or compress it or hold it in any way, let the breath do its thing. Let the body do its thing. Let the earth do her thing. Just let yourself be held, be supported. Your courage to try new things, kind of shine in your heart. I have a white dress that probably helps out. I know that you would want to preserve any kind of unconscious measure, measure of what's this thing called? Hmm. Not fancy. In yoga, it's just your increase in self. Gently deepening your breath. Smooth, deep breaths into the body. And feeling your breath of prana circulate throughout the body. And feeling relaxed and complete just as you are. Staying connected within. Let's find our way to any comfortable seat. And we'll meet with the eyes softly closed. Bring the palms together to the heart. Just notice. 
pelvis in this moment that you're both still and strong, both feeling very alive, very relaxed. And we'll chant OM to seal our practice. Bowing towards our hearts and each other. Namaste. Thank you.